Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Malpia of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Living Streams International, we meet uh, behind the trade fair at the Life Cathedral, and especially we meet in a chapel called the Zoe Chapel. I like to, to capture my thought today with anger for the future. Sometimes I, I, th there are things that we do, and those things could be um, it will yield results or bring consequences that will be waiting for us in the future. In First Samuel chapter 25, verse 23 to 32, there's a powerful story over there of David and a lady called Abigail. If you remember, Abigail was the wife of Nabal. And um, David went, it was a time for a Jewish feast, and so David went to Nabal and asked Nabal to give him something to... Uh, Maybe one lamb or one sheep or something in order to be able to, so that they can also celebrate that Jewish feast. And all he did get was um, an insult from Nabal. And if you uh, read carefully, I mean, David was so angry, he picked up a sword, he called his men and said, God do so to me if I don't wipe away this guy. I mean, he was going to kill everything, including Kukuch in Nabal's house. That's my, 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 my version. And Right when he was going to do it, the Bible said Abigail met him. And then Abigail went ahead and said, you, you, you want to mind my husband? My husband is a fool. He's the only person in our household who doesn't know that he's a fool. His name means fool, and he's also a fool. So don't, don't even waste time. But Abigail said something that was very outstanding to me, and that was very intriguing to me. She said, look, don't do this thing. Don't give reins to your anger. Don't pursue this, 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 this fight. It is a bad fight. Don't get involved with this because you know what? And then she made a statement. He said, lest tomorrow when you come into your kingdom, there will be a blight on your hands, of blood on your hands. There will be, there'll be blood on your hands. And then when they are mentioning your name with all the glory within, in the midst of your pomp, in the midst of your pageantry, in the midst of your celebration, somebody is going to say, but wasn't he the one who bloodied his sword with, with, with Nabal because he asked for food? And Nabal said, I'm not going to give to him. So he killed him. So what Abigail was saying is, that, don't do this thing now. Because what you're going to do, you'll pay a price. You'll pay a reputational price or you will pay a price for it in the future. So don't go that road. You know what uh, Abigail is saying to us all? There are some things when you do now, you may not see, I mean, you'll get what you want. The results are there. You are, but you pay a price for the, those things in the future. And you will not have crop failure. I mean, what you sow is what you reap. Yeah, you may ask for forgiveness. That's true. Like David asked for forgiveness with Bathsheba. And, but he still paid the price. The little boy who was given birth to died. So you know what? And if you watch it, even though God said, I've forgiven you till today, we read about it. It is one dark spot in David's life and in David's history. It's one of the things that just checkers the whole narrative of, of David and, and puts spots in his, in his life. There are things that you're doing now, and you may not see it, but I can tell you that it is opening a door, and that thing would hold you captive, and that thing would follow you tomorrow. So you know what? Abigail was saying to David, don't do this thing now. Less when you come into your glory. Less when you come into your kingdom. Less when whatever God has said he is going to give to you. Whatever God wants to do with you, let's this thing rear its ugly head, head up and create an embarrassing situation for you. Lest when you're sitting on the throne 
Anytime they talk about it, they talk about it, you put your head down in shame. You know what? There are some things that, if it is possible, don't. And you'll be very surprised. One of these things sometimes stems from anger. When we are angry, what we see, what we do, what we think, sometimes when we are angry, if you are not very careful, we will pay a price for those things in the future.